I cannot think of a more dangerous legislator, and perhaps not any in the whole United States. Mr. Ken Ivory approached me and kind of poked his finger at me and says, you, you need to tell your leaders to quit talking about nullification. If nullification worked, all his arguments for a con-con went away. think of a more dangerous legislator up there, and perhaps not any in the whole United States. McClintock and my co-host Enoch Moore with DefendingUtah.org. We're back on K Talk Radio, AM 630, K-Talk.com, the Liberty Lineup Naked True segment where we think right and wrong, not right and left. And we are talking with Lavoy Finnecum about uh, the situation up in Oregon. And something that we've been talking about at DefendingUtah.org is about uh, Representative Ken Ivory, who's going around and uh, trying to undermine the, your, the efforts up there, trying to get us more involved with the federal government. We've done a lot of reports showing that Ken Ivory's bills are just a bait and switch, that they sell themselves as trying to get our lands back from the feds, but what they really are is an effort to give more control to unelected bureaucracies, a regional bureaucracy, um, and also give most of the funds over to the federal government. Uh, I don't know if you've had any issues with, with Ken Lavoy, but... Uh, that's something that we've been working a lot at defendingutah.org. It's very important that um, that the people understand exactly what you're talking about. Um, individually, I, I don't know him nor those that uh, really support him. Actually, I know one. I know one, and and those that I know seem to be men of, of honor and integrity. I I believe, but there is this clear divide in in our stance, and one is not compatible with the other. And I believe one is is principally based and constitutionally based, and the other one is false and flawed. And the American Land Council is that. The good people that work there to, to try to move this issue forward, they, it is good. But they have been fighting this fight. The Sage Brush Rebellion started about 35 years ago, and they're asking for more of the same. They come from the premises that the federal government, under the property clause, does indeed have right to own and control property, but they're supposed to dispose of it back to us. And so now... They're growing like to the, the kid, to the playground schoolyard bully and saying, you know, you're supposed to give me my milk money and would you please give it to me? Right. And it, it will never, ever happen. It is insane to think that after 30 years, 35 years of asking the same thing, that all of a sudden the federal government is going to have a change of heart and dispose of these lands to the citizens and to the state. It will not happen. Right. I promise you, it's gone to the Supreme Court. Um, they rule that they have exclusive legislative power whatsoever over one-third of this land mass. And so for us to politically go up and say, go in into their courts, go into their playground, go into their system and say, please give us 
back our life's money, it will never, ever happen. I mean, it just, you just, it, it will not. And to think that it will, if we vote the right person in, we get the right <laughs> piece of legislation, it's kind of like saying, we need to vote. We need to vote where the, mur- where the murder should be outlawed. Right, no, right. Murder, murder, murder is already outlawed. It's already in the Constitution that the federal government may not have these lands. They ha- right. That was the intent and the spirit of that document. And then also in the letter in the body, both the Ninth Amendment and the Tenth Amendment, you know, you know, Article One, Section Eight, Clause Seventeen, that we beat to death. Plus, also the guarantee that every state shall have a Republican form of government. So, replete throughout that body, throughout that con- contract that we set up between us and a central government, they're in violation of, and they have right. shown that they will not be checked by that document or by any other thing. And Ken Ivory and the American Lands Council knows about those court decisions, about the Constitution, so what they're doing is is on purpose, and it's it's a distraction. And they're trying to hurt your cause. I, I see them going around um, trying to diminish um, what you're doing and trying to get people well, not to be involved. Well, let's, let me go specifics. Let's go to specifics. Um, Paiute County and, and Wayne County, they, they contacted me and said, come and talk to us. And, 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 and so I came and talked, and he said, bring, bring the people that says that they'll stand beside you and support you physically. So I brought them, too. Or they actually invited them on their own. And so we were all there in that meeting. At the end of the meeting, they said, we need to do this. Let's sign this emancipation of, of all these contracts. See, that's the cross of the Rubicon, and that's where you cross the river. It's when you sever those officially, those contractual agreements. He said, let's do it now, and they were about ready to do it. And, 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 and Mike Noel and, and this group found out about this, and they ran up there the next week. So, no, 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 give us more time. Give us, we will get this done. Don't do that. Don't <laughs> do that. And so it took the steam out of, out of it. And so that could have been the first full county, because they have the sheriffs behind them. That could have been the first full county in the whole union to throw off this federal, these federal chains. But it was the politicians that stopped it. I'm the very ones who are saying, we're fighting for your liberty. We're fighting for the Constitution. So we need to make this distinction clear. You know, I, I'm, I'm laying it down. I'm laying it clear on the line. There is only one one course, and the federal government must be completely removed from this. They must return to the confines of law. They must return to things of a federal nature and leave the states and the counties to govern and handle the things of the states and the counties. You know, when you're talking about this, these guys who came and told Paiute County, don't do this yet, if they came from— Totally sabotaged your efforts. They totally sabotaged you, and they came. if they came from—you're saying they came from, like, the American Lands Council and the whole group that's doing— doing well, the, I, this is right? the one person I know that was there, and he's representative of this same people. So all the people that came I do not know, but Mike Noel was there. Right. Okay, uh, right, yeah. right. And so— so, so, so we know from our investigation and research that what they're implementing is is actually greater federal control and Agenda Twenty One, and we've documented that in in uh, reports we published online and presentations we've given as well. So, um, so it seems like to imp- to be able to implement their bigger government agenda, they have to undermine you every step of the way. Oh, oh yeah, this this strikes at the, this what we're doing right now strikes at the at the heart. Exactly uh, of this federal holding, and, and and so this this is this is all their all their attention. They're trying to drive it out of the news media. They're actually mm-hmm. working to isolate it very hard. They, they have, every rancher, see the ranchers were, were first came at night, so they couldn't be seen. Then they they started getting brave, and they start coming in the day and stuff. And now the FBI is is hitting their homes, calling them, intimidating them, and so they're they're working hard. We're working hard. They're working hard. To, to isolate us and to marginalize us mm. and to, to remove us from the, even from the issue of the Hammond family, which was the match that lit this, that ingested that. They said, oh, that's just a whole totally different issue, which it is not. It is, it is woven, intertwined to the very core. And so they, they, are, they cannot let this win. They, they, they are bound and determined to not let this go unchecked like it did at the Bundy. If you We're win, bound to determine that we shall stay and hold the course. And, and and if you win, the problem is solved. This is the proper solution. This is nullification yeah. at at the individual level, which is the That's within the right of the people. When when the sheriff doesn't do it, but if you win and the problem is solved, 
then everything that they're doing with their regional government and the American Lands Council, it's they don't need it to do it anymore because the problem's right. solved, and they they need that problem to exist so that they have justification for their for their Agenda Twenty One bait and switch program. But I just I do know, I do know that this works, that doesn't work, and when this works, they become ill rel ill, Ill- rel. Sorry about that, I'm not pulling out the right word. They don't matter anymore. And, and they, and so, they have, so they have a financial vested interest in this as well. And so yeah. if, if you actually are able to do it without having to go through all the legal stuff that uh, you've already shown and that they already know is, is a moot point that's already been decided in the courts. I mean, uh, this idea of suing the federal government in a court that they control and hoping to get a, <laughs> right. a, fair, a, a fair outcome is, is kind of silly. And I, I, right. I do not know where the statistics come from, but Ammon quotes it, so I'm quoting the quoter. Um, he says there has been over 100 of these lawsuits filed in these federal courts over these federal land issues, and he says every one of them have lost. Right, and, and they, they know they, that. So, yeah. and, and so they, uh, that's what I say. I say the federal government loves the American Land Council <laughs> yeah. because, yeah. because, because they, 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 what do they do? They keep it in the, the legislative arena. They keep it in the judicial arena. And what arena? The federal judicial arena. You know, and, so, and, and so they like that because they know they'll never lose. They'll just keep stretching it out. They stretch it out for 30 years. They'll stretch it out for another 30 years. Yeah. And every, every year, the federal land holdings of the federal government has increased. It continues to increase. We never win. We never have won. And, and we never shall doing, the, the, what, doing more of the same. your land Sure hallowed ground on which I stand I sure hate to break the news to you But your national park is coming through Well now pardon me but is that your home The house you work so hard to own Sure would make a nice hotel <laughs> And we have ways to make you sell Cause we don't answer to the taxpayers Or to your congressman And we don't take no from anyone We just want to take your land that barn you plan to build out in your backyard we have a special building fee just give us 40 acres free because we don't answer to the taxpayers or to your congressman and we don't take no from anyone we just want to take your land And if you don't comply, we have ways to change your mind. We'll do almost anything to get our way. So just sign the dotted line. It's for the good of all mankind to give the antelope another place to play.
Uh, take it, boys. Oh, give me your home. Let the buffalo roam. Be More than one third of all the nation's land is in the federal government's hand. So don't get mad about what we do. We're buying all America just for you. Because we don't answer to the taxpayers or to your congressman. And we don't take no from anyone. We just want to take your land. Because we don't answer to the taxpayers or to your congressman. No, we're just like the State Department. We got our own plan. Thank you.